Mobile Trader, how to use the XM iPad Trader application part 3. On the low side of the interface, you can see the tab called Trade. By clicking the Trade tab, you can see the Trades window, which displays all your active orders and open positions. After clicking the active position once, you can display the current settings of that particular order. If you wish to close, modify, trade or view the chart, all you need to do is click and hold on the open position which will make the mini window pop up. If you click modify, you will see the window where you can modify the stop loss and take profit of your active order. After inputting the new values, the modify button becomes active. Now click the modify button to confirm your changes. Head back to the trade main window, where you can see that the changes you made have been successfully applied. Moreover, if you click the chart main tab, you will also see the visual display of these changes. To turn off the trade levels lines, go back to the chart options by clicking the previously mentioned button located on the left hand side of the chart tab. Here you can see that trade levels is turned on. By sliding the switch to the left, you can choose to turn it off. This action will remove the trade level lines previously displayed on the chart window. Now let's go back to the chart options window to see the OHLC option in more detail. OHLC stands for Open, High, Low and Closed Positions. This is turned off by default. By turning it on and going back to the chart window, you can see at the top left side of the window that the OHLC is now activated. Now let's go back to the main trade tab to view the open positions. By pressing and holding on a position as mentioned earlier, the mini window pops up. Press trade to get redirected to the order window, while the chart option will take you to the chart main tab. In order to close an order, choose the close button from the mini window options, which will take you to a new window screen. Here you can confirm the closing of a particular order by clicking the closed button. After this, you will see that your order has been successfully closed. By going back to the trade tab, the order that you have placed earlier is no longer visible here. At the same time, here you can also see that your pending order is still active. Press and hold on the order box and the mini window will pop up. Now let's try to delete this order by clicking on the modify button. Once clicked, the delete button becomes active. Here you can choose to delete or modify your order. However, if you decide not to delete the order after all, simply click anywhere else on the screen. After clicking delete, your order will be removed from the trade tab. At the bottom, you can see the cross button, which takes you to the new order window. Next to the trade tab, you can see the history tab. The history tab displays the account history. By clicking on the calendar button, you can select the period of history according to your preferences. Here you also have the option to manually search for a specific symbol name in the search bar by selecting the custom period button. Clicking here allows you to manually set a start and end date. Another option on the main toolbar is called Chat. Here you can choose to authorize your MQL5 account or register your MQL5 account to communicate and chat with other traders. The Accounts tab is located on the top left side of the platform. Here you can see all your saved accounts. Also, by pressing the plus symbol at the top right side of the settings window, a pop-up window comes up, where you can either choose to log in with an existing account or open a personal demo account. Alternatively, you can start without registration as an anonymous user. More details regarding this section can be found in the installation XM tutorials for the iPad MT4 applications. The Charts button allows you to view the chart settings options previously described. Next comes the Mailbox tab, where you can view all your important message updates. Next, we can see the News button, which provides you information in regards to the latest news. 
The Journal button displays the logs for all actions performed on your account. End of part 3. Thank you for watching.